Hi, it's me, Phil. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to place light probe groups in your scene in Unity. Let's go. Okay, in my scene here, I made it pretty easy by creating modder parts. So this is a T-piece in Meganest. And in that T-piece, I have a light probe group. When selected, you don't see it currently, you need to toggle on visible all uh, gizmos. And if you aren't seeing it, you scroll down and then you look for light probe groups. If that is not enough, uh, there is a toggle here on light probe group, show wireframe standard, default it's on, remove ringing it's also on. Re the ringing is actually if there is a light too much, too close to the light probe to an object, it will cast light on the backside of the game object. So you can remove it. It's going to save a little bit of memory. Um, so in my, my case, it is off. Now, standardly, if you add it to this scene here, you right click on lights, light probe group. You click it here, you get this light probe group. And then what you do is you place it next to the walls or something or the place you want to capture the light bounces from bright to darkness and if you want to edit them edit light probe positions click this button here now you can click this yellow ball now you can move it as you like like here a little bit down a little bit here balance it a little bit the rule of thumb is according to the manual also don't overdo it don't overplace light probe groups so spread them evenly and um, yeah, the biggest rule is don't overdo it. Don't do it to less. So don't place like a light probe group next to a light and then 100 meters further, one uh, other yellow ball of the light probes. Like so far, that's too far. So a little bit balanced. So it captures the light to the darkness. Then from the darkness back to the other light. That's a rule of thumb. If you want to create another, so I want to have like one light probe ball here in the middle, you can click add probe. The probe will be on a different place. So you can see the selected probe position is at 300, minus 20 and minus 23 on the Z axis. So what you can do is, I, I see here the position of this light probe group is zero minus eight, 018 so i copied this value i set the x on zero 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 so it's on the center and then place it this one here so it's at this group so now it's nicely on the center of this light probe group okay so that's a fast video about light probe groups it's pretty simple and a must have in your scene if you want to balance out your light bounces into uh, your scene Okay, thank you for watching. See you for the next video. Bye-bye.